Meanwhile, the Nigerian president insists that foreign groups are behind the bombings, although a homegrown rebel group has claimed responsibility. The Movement for the Emancipation of the Niger Delta, or MEND, says it planted the bombs. In South Africa, one of its alleged senior members has been arrested following an Interpol raid on his house in Johannesburg a few days ago. Henry Ocker is now facing terrorism charges. And Henry Ocker does join me on the line now from a prison in Johannesburg. Um, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Now, you've been accused of being involved in those bomb blasts in Abuja in which 12 people died. Uh, how do you answer those charges? It's entirely false, and the uh, Nigerian government is aware of it. Uh, back. Okay, those charges are false. Mend uh, has uh, claimed responsibility, and uh, and you are said to be an influential member of Mend. Well, I'm, I don't. I won't say I'm an influential mem uh, member of any group in Nigeria. Delta. I'm just a sympathizer with uh, everyone who's fighting our cause, either through peaceful means or any way, any means possible. So, so you're a sympathizer of of the group Mend. Uh, did they carry out the bombings in Abuja? I wouldn't know because I didn't have time to investigate. I was, my house was raided on Thursday, and, uh, and a few days later I was, uh, I was arrested. So I wouldn't have time to really uh, know who, who carried out this attack. Okay, well, uh, one I mean, thing I, I will tell you. Go ahead. Yeah, I said one thing I will tell you is that uh, on, on Saturday morning, just as uh, the morning before, just about the rest of a very close associate of uh, President Jonathan called me on the phone and explained to me that uh, they, they have been bombing in Nigeria and that uh, the President Jonathan wanted me to get him to reach out uh, to the group men and get them to retract the earlier statement they, they issued claiming the attacks and that they wanted to blame the attacks on the, on the northern, uh, on, on northerners who were trying to fight against him coming back as president and if this was done I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wasn't going to have any any problems with the South African government. I declined to do this and uh, a few hours later I was arrested. It was based on their, on their belief that I was going to do that, that uh, the Jonathan issued a statement claiming that uh, men didn't carry out this attack. Uh, so just, just, to, be clear, just to be clear, why do you think that that political aid was asking, you to, uh, asking men to make that retraction? What was the reason for that? Yeah, because they don't, they don't want it to seem like Jonathan is, 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 doesn't have the support of his people. You understand? They, yeah. for, for, for years, you know, yes, for months now, they've been, they've been lying to everybody that everybody is so pleased with Jonathan for the region and he's going to bring peace to, to the region, which is, which is entirely false. So uh, this attack now uh, was actually going to be a big, big smear on, uh, on his uh, political aspirations. And uh, they needed, uh, they desperately needed the group to retract that statement, and uh, which is why I was contacted. But I, I declined to to make any such uh, moves. You know. As far as as Mend is concerned, I mean, what is the situation with Mend? Because good luck, Jonathan is trying to say that this group is not a problem anymore. Uh, the previous president had tried amnesty and rehabilitation programs. Uh, can you can you give us uh, a summary of what the situation is with Mend? No, not just not just with men, with everybody who's fighting by any, I mean, whichever way they're fighting. You don't just uh, give people an amnesty and ask them to forget about the reason they're fighting. You know, every single one of us is fighting for something. And if that, if, that, if what we're fighting for is not addressed, you always have a, a problem in the area. You understand? It's not, it's not about Jonathan being president or about uh, an amnesty being given. I mean, why would you give me a, why would you steal my land and you give me an amnesty and expect me not to fight, continue fighting you? Why would, you, why would that, why, why, why would that, why, why would that happen? And are you saying that none of these concerns that you have are being addressed by the government? Absolutely none. You see, with, with, with Yara Dua it was much better because he, he had a good understanding of the problem. And regardless of the fact that he was from the north, from the north he was making good attempts at addressing his problem. But with Jonathan, it, it, it's, it's an entirely different story. He doesn't know what, what the problems are, and it's also been teleguided by other people, you know, who are probably giving him very bad, bad advice. So, Henry, what do you think is going to happen to you now? Well, I, I don't care, you know, I really couldn't care. But uh, one thing I'll tell you for sure is that, I mean, I'm, the reason I'm able to talk to you 
It only shows that uh, South Africa is not like Nigeria. In Nigeria, I was held for one year and five months in solitary confinement. I, I didn't see anybody. I had no books, no newspapers, no TVs, no radios, not even exercise. You see? But the fact that I can speak to you from uh, by phone, uh, even though I'm, be, I'm being detained, it, it, it shows that I mean, this is an entirely different country from Nigeria. And I'm arrested here at the uh, instance of the Nigerian government, which threatened the South African government with diplomatic action if they didn't arrest me. That's the only reason I'm in detention. All those people I learned have been arrested in Nigeria. I have no contact with any one of them. I don't even know them. You see, and, and they, are, they are just trying to do this thing to uh, point the finger at other political opponents in order to, in order to uh, possibly uh, uh, thwart their attempts at uh, running for president. But you see, I, I'm not a politician and I have no business with any of the other aspirants to the post of president in Nigeria. I have no connection with them. Okay. It's claimed that I've been given uh, lots of money by different uh, politicians, you know, to do one thing or the other. But I promise you, I don't even have that kind of money myself. I don't even have money, you know. Okay, so, Henry. Whoever is saying this is just, yeah. We're going to have to leave it there, but thank you very much indeed for speaking with us. Uh, Henry Ocker speaking to us uh, on the line from jail in South Africa there.